top of the night, y'all. Peace and blessings. So, um, I ain't do a blog in a while, right? I ain't, I ain't blog in a while. Y'all know I've been out the way, right? But, um, I want to talk about the situation that just happened on the train. I guess it was earlier today when the, um, the dude disarmed the nigga with the gun and shot him in the head, right? They was fighting on the train and shit. You know what I'm saying? They both was fighting on the train. And the dude, girl, stabbed the black nigga, right? So, um, I wanna, um, I wanna elaborate on that, right? First of all, in, in New York City, especially the Bronx, all five boroughs, there's a lot of racial tension. There's a lot of racial tension. There's a lot of tension amongst blacks and Latinos. There's a lot of um, tension between black Americans and Africans. There's a lot of tension between everybody, right? There's a lot of tension between gangs. There's a lot of tension between Dominicans on Dominicans, like, because it's different Trinitarios and different stuff like that. You know, all this information is on YouTube, is accessible, so none of it is like ratting, right? But New York City is toxic. There's a lot of bullshit going on. I seen two of the footages of what happened on the train. Somebody saying there's four, I seen two. So, what I seen, I'm gonna give y'all my take from what I seen. The black dude, the first mistake was this. The black dude was exerting too much energy. He was getting hype and he was squatting low. I'm going to knock you out, make a wrong move. He's gassing out. When you, when you come in contact with confrontation, it's always good to be calm, right? Second, a fight you don't have to fight is a, is a fight one. Right? So sometimes you gotta bow out. Like me, I like to bow out. I'll give a person two bow outs. After the second bow out, if you keep getting crazy, then I might activate, you know, on the third go around. But I like to tap out. Fam, I don't want no problems. You got it. Have a blessed day. Boom, boom, boom. Because I'm thinking about getting to the bag and I'm always gonna make sure I get home safe all the time by any means necessary. Right? But the black dude, he gassing out, he acting hype. I'm gonna knock you out. I guess, you know, he was overconfident, you know, Poppy was shorter than him, slim, tiny, whatever, whatever. So anyway, um, the black dude, you know, he like caught the Poppy, you heard him going, ah, ah, like on a train, the black dude snuffed him or whatever. And then, um, he bum rushed him and like kind of, they both was kind of like off balance, right? When he pimped Poppy to the chair, check the, check this shit. The nigga girlfriend was like, ah, stop, y'all break it up, but poked him twice. She poked him twice, but on, that's like when cops say, stop resisting, but they choking you at the same time on a low. Mommy, mommy Jedi mind tricked the black nigga, you know. Yo, stop fighting, y'all leave it, and then poked him twice. He leaking, right? In war, the main important piece on the chessboard is the queen, Right? You got to watch. You got to pay attention to your surroundings. This is what being calm is about. When you too hype, you get tunnel vision and you're not focused, right? The chick did the right thing. The girl did the right thing. You always hold your man down. You always hold your man down. Your man getting it on, hold that nigga down. And vice versa, fellas. Your girl getting it on, you hold your girl down. They show teamwork. She's not wrong, Right? One thing I'm going to say about Latino people, they teach in their household that there's strength in numbers and stick together. They teach this. This is automatic. Niggas be on code. They on code. They don't got to know each other. Niggas speak that same lingo. It's bingo. They on code. And I'm telling you that because I'm half Latino. My mother's black, but my father is, you know, is a Latino, is an Afro-Latino. And his family, them niggas is tightly knitted. You know, Latinos, niggas is unified. They on cold. Black people, due to slavery, a lot of trauma, be, we, we've been backdooring each other since Africa. This is how the slave trade even flourished because, you know, the Europeans, they needed Africans to catch Africans and sell out Africans, right? So blacks, we don't really trust each other. There's a lot of, there's centuries of trauma within us, disunity, not saying there's black, um, black unity don't exist. It does exist with certain people. But anyway, 
They was on cold. Shorty pokes him. Fam leaking. Fam still gassing out. He's getting angry. People, if y'all ever get shot or stabbed, don't get hyped. Don't get. Don't panic. I've been stabbed. I've been shot. Everything. Y'all gotta relax. Y'all gotta be calm. Because if you keep getting hyped, the, your heart pumping, the blood flow, you're going to leak out. Fam still getting hyped. Oh, bitch, you stabbed me. She like, I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing. She playing victim now. I ain't do nothing. Fam goes in his coat to get the gun and still drops the ball. So according to what's everything being said, Fam came on the train aggressive starting trouble they said fam backed out the knife and i guess poppy got the knife from him or whatever how it went and he got poked right but then now fam back the same black nigga he backs out the gun and he gets shot and killed with his own gun you had three advantages you had the knife you had the gun and you was bigger than fam even though size don't mean nothing because it's all on skill and grace but i'm, I'm seeing the commotion everything I don't know what happened. I'm just giving y'all my vantage point, my view, right? Once fam backed out, if I got the laser and I back out, I don't need to walk down on somebody. I can zap you from here. Bing, 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 bing. I can zap you. I don't got to walk down on you where you could disarm me. I don't got to come. I don't even got to come within six feet contact from you. I could pluck you off from 10 feet away. I could hit you from a distance. I don't know what big man problem was. He dropped the ball. He's out of here. He's oxygen. He got packed up. Niggas, 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 niggas blew his candles out. It's quiet from him. Got his CV turned off, right? Rest in peace to him, whatever. Police locked Poppy up. Mommy didn't do the wrong thing. Mommy was on cold. She protected our man. But this where they fucked up. It was a one-on-one. -on -one. And when mommy poked fam... That's what made Fam want to go get the gun. So that's the domino effect behind that. She did the right thing. She was on cold. Hold down your man. Protect the king. You know, they, they, moving, they moving in unison. But when she poked Big Boy, he never, he never had intentions of going to get the gun. When Shorty poked him, that made Fam go get the gun. Right? I don't know if this was racial tension. I don't know about none of that. Right? But one thing I try to do on a train, because it be spicy, and I'm not taking up for the black dude. There is rowdy, negative, fake, tough black niggas, because I run into them, niggas that think they gangster, they think they drill masters and gang gang, and I hate them dirty, fake, tough niggas. I hate niggas that be like that. But a lot of other ethnicities, Latino, Asians, I'm on a train with them, Africans, everybody has a perception about black American men, right? And it's not a good one. It, it, it's real corny. Y'all see how I look. I don't got no hoodie on, nothing. I got a military hat on. You see my name. Y'all see it, right? I got joggers on and some new balance. I always dress comfortable just in case I got a wiggle, right? People be looking at me on the train. Weird. I be catching niggas because I'm looking through the mirrors. I'm using my whole surroundings. I'm, I, I've been coming outside since five. Since the 80s. Five. I've been crossing the street since five. I know the terrain. The trains ain't really dangerous to me. It's just it, it's mentally exhausting because now my thinking is super Professor Xavier. I got a super be clairvoyant, see shit 40 steps ahead instead of three, because there's so much chaos, I gotta stay on a swivel, you know, while still being calm, but, you know, I gotta stay, my shit is, I'm always fucking, my shit is always moving around, I'm always active, that shit gets exhausting, you know, because this shit is like fake Gotham, but I, you know, I welcome all calamity, good, positive, negative, because I train for this, you know what I'm saying, I train. It was always good to be a warrior in the garden than a gardener in the war. I train. I work out. I read books. I meditate. You know, so I, I train mind, body, and soul. So I know how to apply what it needs to apply. Is it dangerous? Yeah. New York City is dangerous. It's really not safe for nobody. Right? But I'm going to tell you this. Rather be predator than prey. Right? Rather be judged by 12 than carried by 6. The black nigga dropped the ball. If he had the laser, one short he poked him, and that was your intentions to back out, you should have backed out. When he backed out, they was like in the corner, bunched in, like by the door, like by the cart. 
They couldn't go nowhere. He's supposed to just let off and tore them up. Bing, 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 tore him and his wife. He up, dumped on them or whatever, and then went to jail for dumping on them, and then there they went to jail for stabbing them, whatever how would have went. But Fam dropped the ball, and it cost him his life. Bobby, he did what he had to do. If a nigga coming towards you aggressive, he got the knife, yeah, try to disarm him if you can. Especially if he attacking you, you can't run nowhere. You pinned in, in the train. You trapped inside a steel cage, kind of like. So, Bobby handled his business. Mommy helped them in as, the, as, as they should, right? The, the lesson in all this, right, is if you can avoid it, avoid it. Um, if somebody do try to attack you, defend yourself and fight like this. Like this your last fight. Fight the win. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. You know we'll tell it to the judge later. But this nigga got to get out of here. And um, people just be mindful. Be be humble. Be mindful. Be be prepared. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. And um. That ain't over. Like, that shit is going... That shit going trance. I'm telling you, that shit ain't over. I don't know who the black nigga was. But everybody got somebody that loved them. And, you know, shit be having a domino effect. And they jumped them. Even though mommy did the right thing, they jumped them. It was a one-on-one. -on -one, and they jumped them. She stabbed them. They jumped them. There's no fair ones in war. There's no rules in war. I understand this. But if we going to deal with the technicalities... They jumped them. Um, I'm sad that happened. That kind of bothered me. Last night when I was on the four train, a nigga OD'd on the train, died on 125th. Um, you know, shit is happening back to back to back. My man calling me while I'm doing a blog. I'll get with him later. This shit is crazy. You know, that, that's another reason why I stopped really kind of blogging because, like, a lot of people be calling me and... Just be a lot of shit. It's Ramadan, you know. My mind is really somewhere else, but I call him back when it's over. When this blog is over, but um, yeah, people, we um, we gotta prepare. You know, we gotta prepare, and you gotta stay sharp. You gotta stay sharp. This is Hunger Games. This is the purge, and only the best of the best survive, and only the best of the best make it home every night. You know what I'm saying? And um. I advise everybody, do more clean dieting, too. Because uh, people don't know. Quiet is kept. Yet the, what you, what you, you are what you eat. Yet eating plays a part in your behavior. When y'all eating this synthetic chicken in these chicken stores, y'all smoking this Zaza, y'all drinking this liquor, y'all eating these chopped cheese sandwiches, y'all eating all these Twinkies and snacks with all this fucking artificial sugar and all that. All this shit affects your behavior, too. All of this affects your behavior. You are what you eat. You are what you see. So if you're always watching Power and all these violent shows and all that shit, you are what you hear. You're always listening to Kill em Up, Murder, Bang Bang, My Gun, This, My... You're always listening to that. Y'all start consuming that behavior. Whatever your five senses consume, that's what you are. Whatever you touch, taste, smell, see, hear, feel, that's what you are. This is why I don't have a TV in my house. I don't watch TV. I read books. I pray. I meditate. I light incense. I, 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 I light oil use. I drink tea. I drink tea. I sit still and think. Right? Because I want to be... I want to be in a peaceful state of mind. I want to be serene. I want to be tranquil. I'm very pensive. Right? You are what you consume, people. Change your diet. Change what you listen to, what you touch, what you smell, what you see, what you hear, everything, what you affiliate with. Ch ch shift the whole paradigm of the energy, people. The gods don't mingle with the mortals. Kings don't eat with the peasants. The only time wise men hang around fools is when they educate them or enslaving them. Stay up like a cup. I holler back on my collar crack. We get up like sit-ups. I'm oxygen, iron. Intelligence rule over negative nonsense, so help educate innocent kids honorably. I'll holler back on my collar crack, we get up like sit-ups.